When it comes to the Ball brothers, their NBA debuts have been highly anticipated. Being undefeated in high school brought them national attention, and their father's confidence in them brought them hatred. After UCLA, the NBL and the JBA came their NBA debuts. So how is your first NBA game? I would expect me to do, you know, good because, you know, I was drafted so high. There's pressure on me, but I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun. I just want to get out there and show everybody what I can do. Survival and thriving, the name of the game for this man today. Lonzo Ball, the number two pick overall in the NBA draft last month, making his long-awaited NBA debut. Sellout crowd on hand, over 15,000 here. This place ready to erupt. My expectations for my first game was go out there and just play hard and, you know, try to get a win. And on Ball's first touch, the crowd erupts here. <laughs> There's the lob to Ingram, and that's what Lonzo Ball does. Lonzo Ball has really impressed a lot of the NBA folks with his work ethic. My first game started off good, and then it kind of just went downhill from there. Ball for three. Lonzo can't get that one to go. The fans calling for Lonzo Ball to do something. And three ball comes up short. His first three-pointer as a Laker is an air ball. Hasn't gone according to the script for him yet. As he's 0 for 6, there's that three on the lay, rims out. Lonzo so far tonight having a little trouble. How do you feel about it, Jeff? I just don't like losing. Ball for the tie. My first game wasn't the way I wanted to start. Shot the ball pretty poorly, and, you know, we lost. So after the game, I didn't feel too good. Not the best debut for Lonzo Ball. Cut it. Cut the tape. What did you make of your debut here? Tough game. Didn't get the job done. I missed a lot of shots. It's my fault. How did you feel physically out there? Obviously, I didn't feel good enough. We didn't win. So it's the nature of losing itself that frustrates you tonight? I just hate losing. It's the worst he can do, and the culture is winning. Pass the ball around. Right. right. He lost by three or four points playing his worst game ever. Right. So if he's just all right, they win. It's better for him to start at the bottom and have all this success at the top. Now you're going to expect the whole season. I'm going to show you what he did do. Look how many Laker fans out here. Instead of going to the movies, everybody come to watch the Lakers. Right. <laughs> that was Zoe's debut. Now, LiAngelo. We have a saying here at Ball Facts. Unleash the sniper. Jello wasn't a high draft pick like his brother Lonzo, but he still packed the summer league out. It's good to see him get the chance to keep playing the highest level. Because his route wasn't like his brother's, he knew that this was a once in a lifetime chance he wasn't going to miss. He also showed that he's a hard worker and knows how to hustle. Ball. Back in the game. Nice play. Look at that. Look at that. It's a lot of games of basketball, being able to have that play, make that play. Mm -hmm. What's even more crazy is he was making it look easy. Honest, executing plays. Look at that. Misdirection, ball reversal. How to play. I love that you can see. He couldn't be stopped, so his teammates figured, why stop passing it? They're sharing it. They have two vets down there. He was always the first one to run back, which created open shots for himself. Near turnover, definite turnover, Carton forced. Look ahead to Leandro Ball gathers himself and knocks down the three. An air ball is a nice three. Ball, time to gather himself, line the seams up, Smitty. Set. Then he gave him one more for the road. He really did shock the world. Uh, right when I come in, I don't like look like, oh, I need the first play or nothing. I just know when I get in, however many minutes I get, I'm gonna just go my hardest. And I, I let the game come to me, like I said. So I wasn't thinking, I wasn't excited off of it or anything. It was just, I was just ready to play the game from there. 
what, what, what was the play and what did you see when it came to you? Wait, we'll say that again? I said, like, what was the play and, like, what did you see? Like, what, what were y'all doing at that point and what did you see that allowed you to get open like that? We drew the play up that I'll come off a double screen and then it was open, so I took the shot. It's, it's just that simple. You explain what it's like to be able to have people change your name out there today, um, first summer league game out here today. Uh, I don't get too caught up in the um, fans and whatnot, but um, it's a good energy out there. I will say that. Like, as soon as I come on the court, I feel energetic and ready to go my hardest. So it was cool. You made five three pointers, including you that four play play there last uh, to the end of the game. Just what about your shot? How comfortable right, are you on the floor with your shot the way it looked tonight? It looked like you were pretty much out there just knowing what you were doing. I don't make the game too hard. Like, if the shot's open, I'm going to take it. I got enough confidence in my shot. I mean, I practice those shots. So it's not like I'm rushing anything or anything. So it's just like practice, really. What is it like to you? Uh, I guess obviously you had your dad and brother at games before, but did it feel a little bit different today to have them in the crowd kind of watching you or just old hat for you pretty much? Uh, he pretty much came to every game. So it's like it's not a different feeling for me. It's, I already knew he was coming. So it's what it is. What do you hope to accomplish here, man? Like this is obviously the only first game, but what do you hope to accomplish during the summer we play for the Hornets. I just want to go out and control what I can and play my hardest and then uh, hopefully get wins for this team and then hopefully make the real team and go from there. Let me ask you, what, what in particular do you think you got to work on and show these next couple games that would allow you to make the team or, or, or Hornets roster or any roster in general? I don't get too caught up in like focusing on what I got to do or anything. I just go out and play the game. I mean, I love the game and I just play the right way and it'll fall into place. And that was Jello's debut. He and Lonzo's were in the summer league, but LaMelo had the pandemic going on. So his was in the preseason. And Melo was grabbing rebounds like he was Shaq. That's called his white face. Hornets leading by 17. Another rebound ball. Baines. Rebound number six for ball. Tapped around, finally cleared by Ball. Terrence Davis on the floor. Another rebound, Ball. Number nine. Oh, behind the back pass. Five bridges and a foul. That's what I'm talking about. Mello was crashing the boards and creating highlights, but he couldn't get his shot to fall. LaMelo got pushed off his court. Yeah. Next quarter, the Raptors are 8 of 11. Straight on look, LaMelo. Ball. Ball protects, leaves it for Ben. Oh, nice. And now it's time for some facts. Interestingly enough, they all played on duplicate dates 7 7, 8 8, 12 12. What the heck is going on? They played against the Clippers, the Blazers, and the Raptors. Lonzo played 32 minutes, Leangelo and LaMelo played 16. Lonzo was held as the franchise player, LiAngelo was still trying to make it, and Melo was the backup point guard. Lonzo went on to turn things around and win the MVP in the Summer League. Jello earned a spot on the Hornets affiliate G League team, The Swarm. In MB1, he made the haters go sit in a corner, winning the Rookie of the Year. Along their journey, their father LeVar had his I told you so moments. This story is far from over. At some point, we'll do another video about all of their first playoff appearance. Stay locked in with the realest. You know what it is. Ball facts again.